Okay, here's an update on the MK1 version motor that I've added some uh, coils here. You can see I added four secondary coils, I call them, and they run off the tank. The positive goes to the tank circuit. The positive of the coil goes to the tank, and the other side of the coil goes into the reed switch, and then uh, to the negative side of the tank. And I've got this old meter here that it's showing 18 volts. This goes up to 300. It's on the 300 scale. Let's see. And we'll start this up. Runs a little slower, it's up to uh, almost 100. We we'll get up to 100 or so. As you can see, it's still drawing only uh, you know, so three, 300 millil milliamps. As you can see, this is climbing, it's up to 90 volts. See this here? And it'll climb faster if I take this off, which is the positive side of the uh, of these coils, secondary coils. And now the interesting thing is when I load it, so it's running about 1800 RPM at, at 100 hertz here. So 100 hertz. Now I've, I've attached that. We've got voltage of almost 100. 100 now. That meter doesn't read so good. So now I'm going to load this and watch what happens here. Nothing there. Nothing there. No movement whatsoever. On the gate meter. Again, back over here. 100 volts. So, and we're loaded down to. Uh, right but anyway we'll just get back up to speed here you can see the reed switches on the back and the one on the front right there Now I'll turn the power off. And as we can see, this is at 100 volts. Still going down. You can see the flashes there. Quite bright. Still going. goes down about 24 volts and that's not enough to turn it. And as you can see, because this is really easy to turn here, but here there's a big, big difference. So when I get these other four coils I got wound, I'll get these in and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll make another video and update the rest.